Everyone, what about here, and welcome back to I Shoot Stuff in Space, and, you know, people die a lot, presumably. I actually have no idea. I really wish there was almost a plot for this game, or, like, just kind of, like, a, a background, like, this is why shit's even happening. Because, you know what? Star Fox 64 had a plot, and I feel like this one should be to should totally have a plot, too. Alright. You know what would be kind of a fun run at some point? I'll probably do this. Oh, fuck. Uh, not this run. I don't like the jaw that much. Oh, really? The jaw has knockback. I didn't know it, it had uh, knockback. Okay. Uh, Keith and Burton are killing floor two. That would be a blast. All right, let's take that shit out. God, I wish I could destroy uh, projectiles with this. That would make this gun so much... Uh, make the jaw so much more viable. Because, like, currently there's, there's no way I can even get close to this bastard. Okay, let's... I don't know what his plans are. They hurt. I'm just gonna keep munching him because I've never killed a boss with this before and it feels like feels like something I should do. Well, I guess it kind of works in this situation. That's the extent of it, though. Okay, well, he's dead. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Sterodin looks pretty cool. Sterodin is pretty damn cool. It's pretty damn awesome. Alright, so what do we get? Bullet auto catamaran. Cannon durability or reload speed. Oh man, all these are rough. Let's go with auto cannon. I haven't gotten that in a while, and I was having a really good day with uh with bullet weapons last time, so I'm kinda hoping I can get more. Anyway. Let's see. Yep. Unfortunately, bullet auto can actually do these. Are the jaws more effective? I have no idea. They seem to be pretty good for chewing straight through asteroids and stuff, so I'll give them that. Ah, uh, let's see. But yeah, the bullet auto cannon does do a fairly good job of uh, taking out enemies. Ow! I must have ran my ass straight into an asteroid. Might not be a bad idea to get no collision damage at some point, especially if I'm going to be using this thing. I really don't want to use this thing, honestly. This, this gun is so far from, like, my general, like, desired use that I would much rather use gun bots. All right. Okay, so we've taken some damage, but we're about to go on to the, what, the, the second boss? So that's not a big deal. What games have I played so far? Nothing! This is the first game of the night. I usually start around this time. Except for on Saturdays and... and Fridays and Saturdays, and some other days along the way. How many people do you think get the Eat the Shopkeeper reference? Not enough, apparently. I should go back to playing those games at some point, but they need to update first for me to want to. Like, that is one of the serious issues with games in early access, and my, like, general desire to play them should have gone to reload, reload speed like a dunce. Oh, well. Uh, but... Uh. Well, you know what? If he's going to be doing this phase, we might as well just hit him with the autocannon. Uh, but one of, the, one of the major issues with playing any game in early access is, you know, there, there's no general guarantee that you're actually going to be able to play said game very consistently, or, you know, get very consistent updates. So one of the games I picked up last month, Orlight, has had a series of, like, patches early on, and then nothing. It, complete silence. Uh, Space Rogue finally had its first, second major patch after being out for, like, three months now. Um, Catacomb Kids, Vagante. Well, the people on Vagante have, uh, t are taking a vacation. Catacomb Kids has, hasn't gotten a, uh, update in a very long time. And, um, Cavern Kings only gets an update every, like, three months. So, like, my mainline series for the past, like, three, four months have all just been kind of dry for the past while. Ow. And I've been, I've been looking forward to getting back into them, but there's not a whole lot of compunction for me to do so until there's actually, like, you know, some some good content in the games. Because you can only play Vigante so much and Catacomb Kid so much and all the other games so much without just getting totally just frustrated. Yeah, let's switch back to this. As much as I like gun droids, uh, they're just not viable for basic combat and stuff like that. I really love Talamir. When I, I get back to that, I have no idea. At some point, possibly based on, like, general desire. Oh, fuck. Really? So, lightsaber slows you down. Why would anybody use that? I can see it being, like, totally OP. But I do not want to use any kind of weaponry that slows you down that much. Let's just... 
plonk these guys down. Unfortunately, the asteroids are kind of making short work of them, which sucks. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I could do Talamir at some point. I don't know. Talamir is a little bit harder. Maybe. I don't know. I. It's also one of those where I'm also kind of bound to the whims of people watching on YouTube. And it definitely did not feel like people were super stoked about Talamir as like a general game type. I think it's just the art style and the, the weird mechanics threw people off really hard. Why are people super salty? Or am I supposed to be salty? I don't even know. Oh, maybe it's the uh, lightsaber thing. Should pay mo a little bit more attention to game gameplay here, may maybe? Nah, fuck it. Okay, now I don't think the gun drones specifically take out missiles. Oh, they do. No, they don't. They don't give a shit about missiles. All right, we're still using the basic blaster, by the way. This is rough. Oh, well. yeah. Shame the lightsaber slows you down that much, though, because that's like the only melee weapon I would consider to be particularly viable. And apparently, it's not. Oh well. At least we got gun droids, so that's gonna make uh, this part a lot easier. Okay, we go on top. We're going top. All right, because I'm not laser proof. Don't even want to touch this. Oh, I'm the sl salty one. What? Because of the lightsaber? I mean, that's mostly just basic logic. I have not, I have not even hit the salty threshold tonight. Okay, let's just let them do their thing. I like the auto cannon. Yeah, if I could get like the impaler to go with the auto cannon and the gun droids, I think we'd be in a solid spot. If I could get, uh... oh shoot, what else would be really nice given this combo? Yeah, impaler would be nasty. The basic blaster does fairly well, and then again, a lot of these bosses are much easier to fight once you fought them like ten times already. All right, so what do we get? Faster weapon swap. Damages, HP. Let's go with bullet drop rate, seeing as we're using the uh, we're using the auto cannon. I wanna I wanna buff buff that up really hard. Okay, hey Frozen Wolf, how's it going? Let's see. So we've got okay, we've got the auto cannon going. Okay, don't freak out because of the because of the lasers. That is how death happens. There's like zero room to maneuver. Oh well. Sometimes it's a good test of skill. Yep. I'm digging how this game handles, like, hitboxes and stuff like that, actually. Like, it took a little while to get used to these things. But once you do, it's just like, you know what, this makes sense. It's also nice ha having a gun that can actually shoot shoot at targets regardless of where they are. <sighs> what are you? Torpedoes. I like the idea of the torpedoes, but at the same time it doesn't fit in our, into our current scheme. Because we've got gun bots for pretty much all bosses at this point. Ow. And we've got... We've already got the boosts for bullets. Shoot. Well, you know what? I, I can fight the uh, fourth boss without taking damage. We are, we've already figured that one out. It's just a matter of, like, not getting totally smacked around here. Whoa! Speaking of... Holy shit. Alright, you know what? Fuck. I tried looping around and they got stuck. Goddamn asteroids! Okay, this has gone poorly, to say the least. Okay, let's just loop back around behind. Ow! Too distracted watching where I'm going. I knew. We're gonna have to be fighting this guy with 2 HP. Eh, almost died last night, though. This is true. Man, this level's long. Fuck! Ah! We're dead. Wow! See that—that that is the one problem with um, that—that that is the one problem with just sticking with the blaster. But I just did not have a choice there. Like, yeah, we did not get a single good actual weapon. Cause the—I mean, I'll be honest, the lightsaber just is not viable in any shape or form, from what I can tell. The gun bots were awesome, but they're not useful for clearing um, they're not useful for clearing enemies, uh, just because of how like not durable they are. Jaws, e uh, Jaws equally useless as the uh, lightsaber for, which should be pretty obvious reasons. Okay, what do we get? We get the hyper blaster. All right, I can work with the hyper blaster. That's probably my second, third favorite gun. Second favorite gun. Uh, second favorite blaster at the very least. Okay. Let's see. Because I think the Impaler takes the cake, unless there's something better. I've heard good things about the Crusher, but really most of the weapons I, I try and go for are weapons specifically... I am not used to this pattern on this guy. 
It's not a very common one. But, um, you know, usually I go for the gun. Jeez, how did I dodge that? I don't even know. This is actually probably the hardest incarnation of the first boss I've seen in a while. This is a bad combo. Luckily, not a big deal. Hey, Chris. How's it going? Oh, man. How's it going? Let's see. Uh, Spoons is I'll be switching over to that one later. Uh, might be next, actually. I don't know. Depends on how people are... How interested people are. Damn, it's nothing but bot options. I just try and play the, uh, the energetic things first, because Holy Potatoes is so nice and relaxing. Okay. Uh, let's go down. Let's go with lasers. I want the bots, but, uh... They're just, they're not, they're not viable right now. Or, we need the laser proofness, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. And I can kind of deal without them. Okay, but yeah, I, I will be doing Holy Potatoes in, I will be doing Holy Potatoes in probably an hour, unless people really want me to play other things, but I think I could also switch it around. It seems like a lot of people really want me to play more Holy Potatoes. What do we get, what do we get, shotgun, do I care? Well, doesn't matter. Because it's either that or the blaster. Who gives a fuck about the blaster? Alright, let's switch back to the hyper, though. Hyper is way more effective at clearing asteroids. And pretty much everything else, too. Okay, let's see. Retros oh, 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 right. We're laser-proof. Oh, we're laser-proof. Alright. Oh! Oh! Yes! Alright! Welcome to the pain train, motherfuckers! Alright, I'm just waiting for somebody to show up. Here we go. Bonk. Bonk. Actually, you know what? Let's just hyper blaster him for this. The mines are hilarious, but not particularly useful against this current incarnation. There are too many shots. They just get get them out. Okay, so at this point, we desperately need reload speed. If I can get reload speed, we're unstoppable. If I can't, ah, eh, whatever. It's not a big deal. Did did he just repeat the phase? He did. I think it did. Nope. Never mind. Aha! I can leave mines for him. Suck it, you chump! Yeah! That is so satisfying. And just push them into him, too. Alright, what's he do next? Oh, he does that next. Eh, yeah, whatever. I haven't taken the shot yet. Oh, that is... He is angry. I kind of... Oh, man. That'd be cool if you could get a perk like sticky mines or something like that. Or homing mines. But yeah, you can charge them to get them to shoot farther. That is absolutely a feature, and I love it. Okay. Break shields, bigger effect. Yeah, let's go with bigger area of effect. That's even better. Let's see. Uh, Game Dev Tycoon is really cool. Yeah, I will be playing uh, Game Dev Tycoon after Basement. I think it's called Basement. I don't know. There, there's another There's another Holy Potatoes-like in my library that I've been meaning to play first. Okay, getting stuck inside these lasers is causing problems. Uh, but effectively, it's the... Uh, oh, shoot. What's it called? The Breaking Bad Simulator. I'll be playing that after Holy Potatoes. I'm looking forward to that. It'll be fun. Now, if I remember it, the mine fucks up shields. Nope, doesn't. Okay, so I gotta watch out for the pink. Ah, it does not do as much damage as I wanted it to. Ah, it did a fair amount, actually. Bonk. I love the knockback on that, though. That is really satisfying. How'd that not hit me? I don't know. But yeah, the, the knockback on the mine is actually one of my favorite things. It's just like, nope, you're staying, and you're dying. That is weird to watch, though. Whoop. Whoop. Actually, I don't take contact from damage from that. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Can I... Did, it did live through that. This is... Oh, man, the mine layer is my, my favorite weapon in this game. It's ridiculous. Play Wander... Uh, Wanderlust by Chucklefish. That's the plan. I asked them for a, uh, a copy months ago. Never gave me one, but seeing as I've actually spoken with Leth at this point. I to be... Oh, no. Oh, we actually have enemies. Okay, maybe I just killed them too fast or something. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, what do we get? What do we get? Shockwave. How dumb am I? Not that dumb. I might not get a choice, actually. Alright. 
yeah. As much as I like Shockwave, I like Mines, and I like this too much, and we don't want Shockwave Mines. That is, that is just way too dumb. That is, that is like, absolutely a terrible idea. Okay, stream broke. Did it? Oh yeah, it broke, it broke for a second. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway. This is fairly effective, actually. Okay, which direction are you coming? Wait, no, I'm I'm laser immune. Never mind then. No, re no reason for me to go behind him. I don't have any back attacks here, but we do have mines, which I'm super I'm super stoked for. Right, let's hyper blaster this guy the rest of the way. I thought for a second there, uh, with the just the asteroid field, no enemies, that we'd actually broken the game to the point where nothing was spawning. But it looks like they have some kind of base code for it, or it was just a weird delay issue. I don't know. Either way, luckily, uh. Let's see. The stream's still dead? No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's stream is back up. I don't know. Okay, come on, give me some reload speed here. Break shields, damages, reduce combo loss. I don't like any of these. Alright, let's go with damages. Uh that'll be useful for the for the mines. Hopefully. Okay, I don't even remember what I was thinking about. Not a big deal. But yeah, I would have I would have loved Shockwave, but it's just it's just it's too it's too specialized. Just like the mines, it's like you wouldn't want Shockwave and Shield. That is just the worst in certain circumstances, and I just don't want to I don't want to deal with that level of like I can only do these things because maybe I'd be able to survive, but it would just definitely be like a giant pain in the butt. Whereas this is fairly effective. The rocket crafts are kind of annoying, but I can deal with it. Okay. Should be good. I have no idea why, no idea why stream keeps breaking like that. But it was happened to Rarquaza, so my only, my main assumption is that um, you did not die. My main assumption is it's something on Twitch's back end. Okay, let's just charge this shit up. You're having a bad day, so am I apparently. Okay, that is so satisfying with the when those hit. Mines are like the greatest thing in this game. By far. Do wish they worked off in proximity, though. And it's kind of a shame they don't. Oh well. Nope. Ow. At least these guys don't have a whole lot of issues. Just immediately tanking uh, a mine to the face. Okay, I wanna. Oh, bots. Ugh. Here we get gun bots. Alright. We have hit the, uh, we've hit the, the, st I'm going to play really stupid for the next 10 to 20 minutes, assuming I can succeed at this. Because now we've, now we've got the mine launcher and we've got gun bots. Hopefully I can get something a little bit better. Who makes a, sp a spaceship out of chainsaws? I don't know. Don't you? Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to mine tank. I don't have reload speed, so we're kind of... Vulnerable in that probably should have just gone directly below. Him. Oh, well, I can do with this. We've got we've got gun bots, too Bots and mines. Yeah, this is it. This is going to be hairy I'm not sure how well this is gonna work especially because we don't have reload speed I've been looking for that. We haven't got our hands on it, but you know what? I'm feeling kind of good about this Okay, yep. thank you mines No way Jose, let's just leave. Let's just leave some uh, ugly little presents for him out here. Yeah. Yep. Looking good. He's getting injured. Yeah. As much as I didn't, I I think the nerf does kind of represent like a uh, step backwards as far as this boss goes. It does make him a lot more fightable, which I have to, which I actually do have to say I'm a major proponent proponent of. He was not fun to fight earlier. Up. Oh, face switched him. Cool thing is, this is where the mines shine. That took like four shots to take him out. That was pretty satisfying. All right, please give me some reload speed here because that is the only thing I need right now. None of these are reload speed. Shit. All right. Um, let's just go with the. Let's just go with the health point. Ah, this is gonna be. This is gonna be rough. <sighs> we'll see how it goes, though. We will see how it goes. 
Come on. Maybe the next one. Honestly, I think we're just screwed. But that's life. Bah! Was not totally banking on that happening. That said, these mines do a fair amount of damage. Okay. Let's just focus on dodging. Plasma gun. Yeah. As much as I like the bots, we need we need something with damage here. Something with direct damage. I really wish I hadn't given up my hyper blaster, but at the same time the mines were only pseudo situationally useful. Uh, let's see. Uh. Does my Terraria server run constantly? Nope, doesn't. I don't do that. I do not do that. Okay. The game kind of reminds me of Risk of Rain. I can see that. It definitely has the Risk of Rain art style going for it, which I appreciate. Well, that was probably the best miss I could have made. I wonder if charging up the mines make them do more damage. That'd be cool. Oh, fuck. Yep. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Almost seems like using mines as, like, a primary attack source is a fairly viable thing. Baygun. Okay. So we are... I've maybe done a terrible thing. I've maybe done something awesome. I have no freaking clue. But I'm goddamn Mega Man. Ow, that hurt a lot. So now we've got two charge-up heavy weapons. This is generally a bad move. Oh, wait. There's a difference between the Bay Gun and the Mega Man Gun. Oh, well. Okay, there's a whole wall of mines directly behind me. There's nothing I can do about this. They don't set it off either. How the fuck do I deal with that? Do they blow up after a certain point? Oh, wait. Oh, yes, they blow up when I hit the boss. Perfect! Unfortunately, I'm not sure how well this is going to be. This is going to be a bit scary. At least I can rely on the mines, but I don't feel particularly confident in my ability to deal with this boss. Maybe? I don't know. Remains to be seen. I, we've got shot blocking. We might be okay. I'm just worried that I'm not going to be able to take out his hordes. Ow, we're dead. Yeah, no, that was interesting, but that was... <laughs> it was more interesting than effective. Honestly, I should have stuck with the mine layer and the hyper blaster. Uh, I just really wanted the gun, gun bots for taking out the other guy. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. Really, really wish I had thought that through a little bit harder, but you know what is life. Okay, let's see if I can get what I want from you. Ah, shockwave. All right. Well, here's the alternative. Actually took damage from that. Probably should do that. Anyway, I think reload speed makes these things, this thing shoot faster. I don't even know. Ah. Okay, seems like everybody wants me to play Holy Potatoes, so I'll be playing Holy Potatoes after this. I'm playing Steridin. Uh, Pathies. Pathies? I need to know. Anyway, yeah, let's just stick with Shockwave for the time being. I actually don't know if Reload works with this. I hope so. Anyway, sup? So oh, it screwed my, screwed my charge up. That's annoying. Oh yeah, and Shockwave does more damage the longer you charge it too. So we might as well just hit it with, hit him with it repeatedly. Ow. Hmm. Boink. He's sparking a little. Probably should just shoot him, honestly. But there's something fun about mastering Shockwave as like a proper weapon. Okay. Just caught up on Holy Holy Potatoes. Yeah. Well, we'll be playing. We'll be playing it shortly. Though there's a number of episodes that are currently unreleased. I want to say like a good four or five. Uh, I play the game a lot. If it's not immediately obvious. Gotta say, Shockwave is working actually fairly well here. Yeah, if I can get reload speed, that'd be perfect. Okay. Let's see, Rhino finish no more fame. Super OP. Yeah! 35 viewers and the stream just started 30 minutes ago. Yeah, that's exciting. 
Okay, collision damages, extra damages. Mm, none of these are useful. Uh, let's go with energy drop rate. We might be able to get something cool. Like the ultra laser? I don't even know. Okay. Come on. I need something... I need something suitably OP for this. I have no idea what... Flame bots would make life a lot easier. Digging Shockwave, though, is an offensive weapon, though. Ooh, laser. Well, I mean, I asked for it. I literally did, did just go for uh, energy weapons, so I guess this is this is our lot in life. We should did more damage, though. Oh, you know, in retrospect, I could probably get, like, a full 30-something 30, uh, 30 percent damage boost along the way with Shockwave, so it might not actually be a terrible idea. God, I love reload speed, though. Because, yeah, unfortunately, Shockwave just does not quite do as much damage as I wanted it, want it to. Okay. Crazy. Wander with a mullet. I mean... No. I don't think I've ever had anywhere close to a mullet. Bullet, and I don't plan on it. Let's just clear the area. Might as well just clear his shots every once in a while. No reason to have to dodge him if I can't reach him. Oh, hello. Ow. Boop. Boop. Yeah! Got him on the straightaway. Okay, so let's just clear the zone and get him with the lasers. I, don't, I really don't need to do this. I could actually just sit here shooting him as much as I want. Still take a little bit of damage. No real big deal there. I really don't know what the 8 times 1 is. Uh, we are actually dying here. Should probably be a little bit more careful. Then again, he's almost dead. I remember when these bosses gave me trouble. Now they only give me trouble because I'm not I'm not taking them seriously. Oh, that was closer to home than I wanted it to. Okay. Let's see. Go to scroll forward, then you realize it's a stream. Funny. Okay, faster re reload time. I have no idea if that actually works with uh, Shockwave. I hope so. That'd be awesome. So let's let's cross our fingers and hope that's the case. Okay. Yeah, this seems like a great time for a shockwave. Sup, mines? Oh. Alright. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting that entirely. It worked, though. It worked out great. I like how the game actually actively lags when I fire this thing off. That is some kind of something. Okay. Ooh. Let's take those mines off. Death, Death Ray. Oh. Never gotten this thing before. Yeah. Why am I so slow? Oh, it's probably from the mines. They've got, like, an interdictor effect. Okay. Death Ray slows you down? Okay. Well, this is quite possibly one of the most unique combinations I've ever had in conjunction with each other. But I'm okay with that. I just want to find somebody to use it on. Oh, hello. Okay. So Death Ray slows you down after firing. That is inherently concerning. But I'm kind of interested anyway, because it seems to just amer apparently okay, Death Ray is apparently the best weapon in the game. Good. Unfortunately, firing this thing is a pain in the butt. Oh, we're just gonna get hit by fuck. We're just gonna get hit by missiles repeatedly. Okay. So I have to worry about some of these things. Okay. And what we're gonna do, take the shockwave, clear this, take the shockwave again. Okay. So Death Ray is terrifying. But I can see the perks. Because I can still dodge these fairly effectively while it's slowed. Because all it is is leading shots. Okay. Let's just not get hit any by any more missiles, and I have a whole lot of health, but I think I'm fine. Okay. No missiles for you. I want to smack you around a little bit. You make it so hard! Got him. Alright. Well, this is this is exciting. I've never used this gun before. <sighs> hard on my fingers, though. Yeah, I don't think... I, I think this is probably going to be my last run. Um... I'm going to go... 
Collision and vulnerability at this point. Mainly because, uh, there's, there's nothing that we want yet. Well, I already have reload speed. Uh, so we're good there. If I could get more, that'd be great, though. Okay. So we're completely reliant on Shockwave to keep us alive. Okay. This is actually not nearly as bad as I thought, because now I understand this gun. And I've also got reload speed, which I don't actually know if it actively... Oh, fuck. I forgot. I'm not laser immune. think we'll be okay. And we're collision immune, so we don't have to worry about those guys. Oh, I did kill it. Hyper blaster. Ah, the temptation is real. But the temptation is not real enough to make me want it that much. Ow. Fuck. I'm just gonna take the most amount of damage just forgetting that I'm not laser proof. I actually really wish laser proof. I don't even know. Okay. We've got this shit max. Is Are these the only guys we're running into? I guess so. Come on, somebody else has to spawn. I don't need to fight all these chainsaws. I like how they've just merged into one chainsaw that terrifies children or something. Alright. Ow. Oh, sons of bitches. You are not what I expected in that, uh, to go along with that other guy. Fuck. Yeah, not having a regular gun is definitely, I think, screwing us the most here. That might just inability to cope with new things in life. It always takes just a little bit of time for me to actually process anything properly. Just a little bit of time. And then once I've processed it, once I get the... Get the whole... Fuck. I just ran straight into that one just as we were fight, about to fight the boss. Damn it! Alright, well... What time is it? 12.42. As much as I'd like to keep playing this, I'm actually going to have to stop. My hands have been hurting really bad lately. Uh, I think it's been <laughs> because of playing this game specifically. So, uh, I'm going to go play some Holy Potatoes a Weapon Shop, especially because that seems to be what people want me to play anyway. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Steradin, and as always, thanks for, all thanks for watching. Blah. I can do words sometimes. Okay. Ow. My hands.